Okay, well, that sewer system was a complete waste of my time. I went down there. There was literally nothing down there. It was all just uh, random citizens. Random North Vegas people living down in the sewer system. I mean, what the hell? There was, there was literally nothing there. And I finally found a way into a different area. And, oh crap, wrong map. And it was just crap. It was literally just crap. There was just, there was literally nothing in there. <laughs> and this does not seem safe. Do they ha at least have these windows boarded up? Because otherwise you could just kind of smash through these glass. Uh. Ooh, H and H Tool Company. He mentioned something about lots of traps. This could be interesting. There could be no, some nice stuff in here. Cause apparently everyone else who comes in here dies. What do you think, Raul? Can we get through some traps? Uh, what about Rex? I'm not sure Rex can do that. I mean, with at least with Eddie, Eddie could uh, kind of just float over the traps. So he didn't really have that much of a problem with it. Uh, especially with the uh, mines. Unless they were proximity mines. Oh, crap. Oh! Don't jump into the path of the bullets! Stupid... Damn it, Rex. Uh, die, die. Ooh, I need a different gun. Uh, if I'm fighting robots, it's probably a good idea not to stand in front of me, Raul, while I am shooting robots. <laughs> Especially when I am shooting massive amounts of highly destructive uh, crap. And are you okay, Rex? Oh my god! Look at that! He is doing a little doggy paddle. He's doing a doggy paddle. It's so cute. The fact that he's able to stay buoyant despite all that metal. Look, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Eddie never did that. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Come on, Rex. Come on. Swim for me. Do that cute little doggy paddle. <laughs> That's just so adorable. Uh... Okay. Uh, okay. Where am I going? Uh, ooh, crap. Uh, did, I was so busy looking down, I did not look up. I probably should look up. I probably... Uh, should look up, look down, look... Whoa, crap. Yeah, yeah. Time for more. Oh, crap. Oh, whoa. Thought that was disabled for a second there. Get up, boss. Ow. Ow. Um. Okay. Is there anything here? No? No. Uh. I did. I walked in there. It wasn't shooting at me. I thought it was like. What? Oh. Well, I didn't even get to see that. Uh. Hmm. Huh. HR email. Cindy Lou Kreb. Human resources, affecting me the following company policy are in place. All cameras are forbidden on office area and the factory floor. No more than three employees are permitted at the break rooms at any time. Accordance with the wishes of management, all bathrooms have been sealed off and walled over. Employees are requested to attend and all waste disposal needs before and after work hours. Okay, well, that is kind of paranoid. Questions about these policies, please email human resources. Uh... Okay. Have you seen these new each <laughs> rules going on here? I swear if this place didn't have great benefits, I'd be out of here. Uh, Jenny Stisato just fed Alan a line about having to play Loch Ness Monster and to play this. We can zone three five to wear bone rocks. Alan Dalton. I said brother might not suck out of these Robico guys that are kicking our asses at a trading floor. Uh busy, why don't you bring over the rubber sheets and the souvenir elephant foot trash can and remind me of why we've been missing? <gasps> what the hell? What is it with all these emails? Uh, ask me to pass the details of new security systems. If important, please email your understanding. Automatic heavy turrets have been installed in both cubicle areas. Chaos has set up his office. You must have your ID and pass that. Holy crap. I don't even know what the hell all this is about. But, uh, yeah. Someone was becoming crazy paranoid. 
Uh, ooh, anything here? Bottle caps. And a little hula thing. Uh, huh. I don't know what's going on here, but this place is crawling with traps, crawling with robots, and apparently it was set up to monitor all the employees. Ooh. Praise Mr. Handy. Ooh. Ooh. I noticed that before I saw it. Wait, you noticed that before you saw it? That doesn't make any sense. I noticed that before it... What? What was that? What'd you do? Uh. Oh, crap. There is something... Uh. Ah, here we go. Disarm the tripwire. Yes. Yes. Is that one of those explosive tripwires? Uh. Is that to a shotgun? Ah, rigged shotgun. There we go. Uh. <laughs> be on the lookout for even more explosives and crazy crap. I can see why no one else made it through, though. Uh. Hello? It seems like some of these traps would have been set off and, uh, no longer functional. Uh, place now. All the cameras are forbidden. Already read that one. Dobson O'Gill. You think they are art minority emails? Don't send that, uh, sedition shit my way. <laughs> uh, uh, so... New employee posse update, please read. Hello again, everybody. Mr. Requ Mr. H. Mr. H? Mr. House? Was this Mr. House's place? Following rule will be added to the new h and Effective immediately. Business in English. Yes, this includes dealing with international clients. Rooftop access is really forbidden. All employees must submit to random DNA screenings to isolate the traitor gene. Uh, scrub h and resources. Okay, Mr. House was obviously crazy. Uh, Mr. House has asked me to uh, pass on the details of our new security system. This is very important, so please read. Uh, already read all this. Okay. Uh, so, this was Mr. House's old place where he used to uh, conduct business. Uh, well, it was surrounded in mines. And booby trapped the high hell. Apparently, before it even bombs even dropped. So, uh, ooh, Nuka Cola. Always nice to get some Nuka. Okay, looks like that was the lower floors explored, and now I'm stuck. So let's head up into the second floor. See if there's anything interesting. Oh, crap, 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 crap! Ow! 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 I walked right into that. I walked right into that. Like an idiot. Uh. What the hell? <laughs> Ow! Uh. Well, at least I was able to back away. Okay, any other mines? Any other crazy mines or other traps? I'm guessing yes. Uh, anything in here? No. Yep, here's a mine. There's a mine. Uh, look up. Always look up. Look left, look right. Look all over the damn place. Because it looks like Mr. House was a crazy man. Suspicious terminal? Uh, ooh. I'm guessing these are all the same emails I've already re read. Journal entry. Cindy Lou can no longer save me. Huh? Stay out, you red menace. Secret journal access. Stay out, you red menace. Uh. Okay. Oh. Um. There's another one of these. Is this side or this side? Uh, can I get... Whoa, crap. Come on. Here we go. Disarm the tripwire. I don't know what that was gonna set up. 
I'm guessing a shotgun again? Yep, there it is. Disarm the shotgun. And look for more explosives. Okay, if this really was Mr. House's old office, then I might be able to get some more information out of this. There we go. Got it done. Ugh. Took a bit longer once I got having to do all the duds and stuff, but it is worth it just to do that. Uh, journal entry. Lucky 38, executive overwrite. Ooh. Let's see, journal entry. As the years roll on, uh, I find myself missing father's advice more and more. I wonder if he would be proud of the decisions I've made. But no, such second guessing does mean no good. I won't be weighed down by the past, and I won't waste energy on ancient family history, especially when the history isn't really family at all. Hmm. 1962. Beginning to mistrust Henderson. I think he's conspiring with my bastard half-brother to seize the company. I built this company, damn it. I won't be ousted by some Johnny-come-lady fancying... Fancy college man with his robots and his degrees. I've asked Cindy Lou to keep an eye on him to monitor his email and suspicious activity. Cindy Lou, isn't that the robot he has at the Lucky 38? A robot version of her. Turned against us, haven't they? Cindy Lou is right. I've had no choice. May God forgive me what I've done. All my employees, all those people thought loyal friends. Was I wrong? Am I crazy? I scattered this journal across all the terminals in the office just in case. They won't take me without a fight. As soon as I finish this entry, I'm acti activating the security system. If you're reading this, you're... And you're American, God bless the USA. If you're reading this and you're my brother, see you in hell. Alexander House. Huh. <laughs> Starting executive override, apparently. Uh, or something. Executive override? No idea what that's for, but I did it, apparently. Carton of cigarettes, cigarettes. Huh, well, are you okay there, Rex? Huh? No? Okay, let's, let's keep being sneaky and see if there's anything else up here before I move on. I see something red, so there could be something. Who knows? Or just a crappy robot. Just a crappy robot turret. Uh, well, if there's nothing else of any real interest, like on that terminal or something, like something new I haven't already read, uh, I'll just make my way out of here. Ooh, what's this? Stay out, of, stay out, you red mentis. Never, nevertheless, nevertheless, nevertheless. Uh, I think Mr. House went crazy at some point. That That is the impression... Whoa, crap! What the hell? Uh, are you okay? Did you just blow yourself up? You need to watch out for traps there, Raoul. I'm telling you, this place is lousy with traps. Uh, another hidden network thing. No more haircuts, no more trims. They can use it to steal your thought energy with their eyes. I have a special hat that stops them enough. Special hat and special shotgun. Father, why have you stopped talking to me? You always loved him best, didn't you? Okay. Mr. House is a nut job. Uh. Ooh. Is there another explosive stuff here? Are you going to blow us up again, Raul? Uh. Nothing? Okay. Uh, be careful. Be light on your feet. Watch for tripwires. Watch for mines. You never know. Uh, oh, that's dead. You see? This right here. That was the tripwire you tripped, wasn't it? Why do you think I am crouching, man? Uh, cause I sure as hell didn't run through that. Okay. Well, it looks like that's all for here. So let's head out. See if we can actually make our way on. Make our way on because, holy crap, there has been a lot of explodings, exploding crap in here. 
and I want out. Uh, I've learned a bit more about Mr. House. I learned that he said wacko. Uh, kind of already knew that. Uh, you have fun there, uh, Rex. You see, you shouldn't have been wearing a hat. Rex doesn't like people with hats. So he attacked and killed you. Grenades! Pack of cigarettes. Very nice. Uh, where exactly am I going again? I don't remember. I got sidetracked. I keep getting sidetracked. Oh yeah, we're going to Jacobstown. Um, okay, let's... I'm gonna get the checkpoint for this little town area over here. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to come back once I get Jacobstown done. Because, yeah. I wanna get... I wanna get Rex fixed up. Rex seems like a good doggy, a good doggy, and he deserves a uh, fixed up brain. And hopefully the guy will be able to do it. Uh, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Random fiend. Didn't even notice. But what the hell is this? Uh, you got a, you got a good sharp eye there, Raul. Good eye for, uh... Is this a hole? What? Again? Was not even paying attention there. Good shot, though. And thanks for sniping that XP from these guys. I'm sure they would have taken it from us. So we made it to the thorn. Manhole to the thorn. Uh... I'm just gonna loot this, uh, fiend. Take whatever she had. Anything good? Caravan shotgun? Fiend the warrior stuff? No. Worthless crap. Uh, empty. Hello! Can't wasteland resident. Uh, is this... So what the hell's the thorn? The thorn? The thorn is currently closed. Okay. Is it a time-based thing? Is that like a shop that's only open during the day? Westside Militia? West side! South entrance! West south side. Okay, I have a quest to come here. I actually do have a quest to come here. It's somewhere. Somewhere in here. Uh, not. Could make you care. Liver. Heartache. Render. No. Ah, here we go. Travel to Westside and speak with St. James about the missing NCR refugees. There we go. Uh, Sierra Madre. There we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. I mean, I've got the thing have right here. Westside Militia. Ah, uh, they actually have a militia here. That other, uh, little place didn't have anything. They had just two guys. Two guys defending the entire place. So, St. James is apparently over here someplace. It, it, again, they have these buildings just blocked off completely. Uh, can I loot anything here? No. Hello? Militia? Militia. Uh. St. James, where are you? St. James. Are you even here? St. James? This guy? St. James, with a power fist. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Uh, I'm just looking for some missing people. Which is exactly what I'm going to say. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. Uh, a good point. I did not mention Aerotech. I don't think I even said Aerotech. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, uh, fuck you. You got nothing on me and Dermot. Who's Dermot? Huh. Very interesting indeed, St. James. A very interesting name, St. James. Uh. West Side Co-op. Let's see what they have. They have... Ooh, they've got maize and apples and all kinds of crap. And nothing I really Anything want. Happening? Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. Show me what you have for sale. Tell me about the co-ops. What's your story? 
What is your story, dude? Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. Used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. Seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. Hmm. So the Van Graffs were classified as a crime family. I could see that. And I don't feel nearly as bad as I did before. All right. Uh, you have any... Any... Nothing good? No? Nothing good? Oh, well. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Okay. Uh, well, let's go. Let's go. Let us go, and we got a... We got a thing to go find a thing over here in the things. In here, apparently. Casa Madrid Apartments. So let's see. What is in Casa Madrid? Because apparently that guy is acting fairly shifty. Ooh. Locksmith Reader. I am hidden. And I'm going to take it. Because I am hiding around the corner. And she didn't see me. Ha ha. Pretty Sarah. Pretty Sarah. Pretty Sarah. Welcome to the Casa Madrid. If you got an itch need scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. Uh, who's the merchandise? Yeah, good question. Three flavors to choose from. Sweetie, Maud, and Jimmy. Sweetie's the house favorite, for reasons that should be obvious. Maud is what you might call the discount rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweetie. Or just likes them old. Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. I think I will pass on that. Um, and I... You're not one of the merchandise. I'm guessing no. Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. Ah, oh, well, that's too bad. How did you get burned so badly? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Okay, well... What do you do around here? I, I am guessing she is the quote-unquote pimp, or madam of a whorehouse, I am guessing. I look after the only reasons anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marco does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. Hmm. Well, you I call that 